<clears throat> Alright, I'd like to show you my Gibson Les Paul Jr. with a single P90 pickup. Um, I really never even really knew much about this guitar until recently. Just watching videos on uh, YouTube about them. And I never ever would have thought that this was something I would ever buy or want to buy. Uh, just because it seems, you know, pretty simple, basic. It's really uh, marketed toward a student. Just a simple design, one pickup, volume, tone. But let me tell you, this is the guitar you want to have if you play rock and roll. Um, just because of its simplicity and this single pickup is so hot, you can control so much with just the volume and the tone. If you want a clean sound, just turn it down a little bit. If you want that crunch, turn it right up. Uh, the only bad thing with the pickup is it, does, it is noisy. You turn it all the way up, you're going to get a lot of buzz. Uh, I assume there's stuff you can add in the line to get rid of some of that. But yeah, this is an amazing guitar. If you don't have one of these, I would highly suggest you get one. This is the guitar against like, all other guitars are judged. Uh, my particular model is a 1986. Um, does have a little bit of checking on the finish up towards the headstock. Not really much on the body, maybe a little bit here and there. Some slight scuffs here and there. Um, some scratches on the pick guard. I don't think it was played a ton, but it is an awesome guitar. And it's also stamped second. I know I had mentioned in another video how sometimes they'll stamp guitars second, meaning they might have a defect or a blemish that kind of set them apart from their others. Uh, but like I said, this one's fine. It's great to me. It's got the Grover tuners, and this guitar really rocks. Like when I got this and I plugged it in and hit the first chord, I was like, "Wow, this is awesome!" Um, I bought this on Reverb. Well, actually, my wife did. She got it for me for Christmas. You know, she asked me what I wanted, and I said, "Well, we usually don't spend anywhere near that on each other." I was like, "Well, the only thing I really want is this guitar." So she didn't really say much about it, and then uh, Christmas morning, there it was. Uh, I was pretty surprised. Uh, I think she paid right around 800 for it. Um, that's kind of what I told her to offer when I first showed it to her. I'm pretty sure that's what she paid. Um, I play this guitar a lot. Uh, I just recently kind of took a break from it since Christmas, about a month and a half ago. But when I opened it, that's, this is all I was touching. This is all I played. Um, honestly, there's like no issues on this guitar whatsoever. Besides the pickup being noisy, but that's kind of how they are. It's not an issue. Now uh, the action on it's great, neck is nice, uh, everything's really nice on it. So let me turn this up, you can hear that buzz. So you can probably hear that. Now I'm playing through my Roland Cube, which has a uh, digital processing on it, unfortunately. If I had a tube amp and I played this through it, you know, if I turn this volume down to about six, five or six, you would hear like a nice clean tone. Oh, my tone was off too. Um, that's kind of the beauty. You turn this down to about five or six, if I hit a chord, it's going to sound clean. If I crank it up to ten and hit a chord, it's going to be distorted. You kind of hear the difference there between this. So. It kind of, it's nice, like you don't have to have as many pedals, you can just kind of control your tone and volume down there to get the sounds you want. Um, like I said, it's a great guitar. If you don't have one, I recommend you get one. 